Hey everybody, welcome to System Test 2 with the Fenwall 3220 Fire Suppression System. So as you can see on the LCD, we have a system status normal, which means much like my main system, this panel does now have uh, backup batteries, so we don't have to deal with the constant trouble condition as we did in the last uh, test. So in that last video, we looked at the cross zone activation on this panel, and today we're going to be focusing on the manual activation using the uh, halon release pull stations that are mounted right off to the right side of the control panel. So let's go over and take a look and see what we've got installed. Down here we have the two manual release pull stations. This one right here is a model number 29-320000-280 and of course you can see it's been uh, branded by Fenwall. These are uh, rebranded FCI MS2 pull stations with a uh, considerably longer and more annoying model number. Anyways, and this pull station over here is a model number 29-320000-287 and of course also branded by Fenwall. Up on the top of the board we have the same three notification appliances as in the previous two videos because much like my Ansel Autopulse system in my uh, main system test uh, setup, uh, the devices that I have installed in this board are going to be pretty much permanent. So we have a Fenwall 75-00015-002 horn strobe all the way over on the far left, followed by a model number 75-00010-001 horn in the middle, and lastly, we have a 75-00002-013 strobe, which has the custom agent lettering, as you can see. So by activating one of the uh, manual pull stations here, the system is going to skip all of the pre-discharge and general alarm stages, and it's just going to go straight into the agent release mode, which is going to have the notification appliances on continuous, uh, both of the horns will be activated, and both of the strobes will be activated, and we'll be able to see the releasing agent message on the panel's LCD. So, let's go ahead and get started. So now we have the signal silenced and you can see the strobes are continuing to flash. So now we can go ahead and reset this pull station. And now that the pull station's reset, we can reset the panel and finally get that buzzing to stop. So now the system is back to normal, and uh, that's about it. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.